Well, I am sleep deprived. I've been sleep deprived ever since I, uh, I had kids. I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying things changed. And, uh, and it's not just the kids. My wife has that, uh, that deal uh, uh, where restless leg syndrome, you know what I'm talking about? All right. So uh, there's nothing less relaxing than to be startled in the middle of the night and look at the covers next to you. I thought, I'm going to pull back the cover. She's going to have cloven hooves. This, this is not... I remember I, I took those vows seriously, you know, for richer, for poorer, uh, in sickness and in health. Nowhere do I remember uh, you have to stick with her if she's got the crazy legs. I don't, I don't wear that. So, the only time I get any good sleep anymore is when I go in for some sort of surgery. You know? Most people dread that, you know? I'm up to like one colonoscopy a month. I, I, I say, uh, take daddy to the happy place. I know. I'm going to get a couple of good hours of shut-eye there, so. So my wife and I now, this year, uh, makes uh, 23 years of, uh, of marriage, and uh, yeah, I, I have nothing bad to say about marriage. It's actually, uh, you know, there's, you know, we, I don't tell everybody this, by the way, but we only knew each other for three months before we got married. Because, well, you know what? Everybody's got a checklist in your head, even if you don't admit it. And we were checking everything off, so it was like, why wait? Everything we, uh, we saw eye to eye on, you know? We both uh, don't like to eat fancy. We hate to dance. Um, she has a slight appreciation for the Three Stooges. <laughs> Neither of us can read. And uh, she's allergic to gold. So you can uh, build, a whole, build a whole life on that. And... Uh, I mean, we, we don't see eye to eye on everything. She loves to shop. That's probably my least favorite thing to do. I don't like to shop. But you still have to support your spouse. You know, they do things that, with you that they, they probably have no interest in doing. I'll go shopping with her, but uh, I have to find something to keep myself entertained, you know, because one of my favorite things to do is I like to hide in one of those racks of clothes. And then when somebody comes by, which eventually they will, and they, they pull the clothes back, I'm, I'm always there to hand them a garment of clothing. Uh, <laughs> Doing my best Jack Nicholson. Here's your Spanx. <laughs> so this last anniversary, uh, my wife broke it to me that, uh, and she did it in a nice way, but she says, you know, you always get me stuff that's real uh, practical for the anniversary. Why don't you maybe get something that's a little more intimate? And it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit because I care about what she cares about. I, I listened to her very carefully. I remember one year, it seems like nonstop, she'd say, uh, you know, I really like to paint. And so that anniversary, I got her a real nice uh, a 12 foot ladder, and that was not the uh, kind of painting she was talking about. But so I, uh, I uh, capitalized on that word, uh, I drew a beat on that word intimate, and I, I ended up at a Victoria's Secret. I've never been in one of those stores in my life. I didn't open my eyes the whole time I was in there, I just grabbed something at random off the shelf, got it home. It was one of those. Uh, slinky bras, which you've probably seen a slinky hanging from each cup, <laughs> which is uh, real handy. When it gets dirty, she rolls down the stairs, goes in the washer all by itself. That's, uh, that's probably the best thing I've ever stolen, you know. Uh, but so much better uh, being married than uh, being single. I never had, like, I had a lot of blind dates. Friends always wanted to fix me up. I don't think one of them materialized to a second date. Uh, even when I thought it was going to be, you know, uh, maybe something was going to work out. I remember this one time I was fixed up this this uh, girl. She was attractive, and she said something just threw me off, I guess. We were at a nice restaurant, too, Long John Silver's, and she said, um, <laughs> she goes, will you please excuse me? I've got to pee like a racehorse. What do you say to that? Oh, I, I hear that. I've got to poop like a Clydesdale. <laughs> this is a dream date right here. <laughs> Nearly choked on my hush puppies. I, uh... Hey, did you know that Drybar Comedy has their own app? You can download it right now and see my whole special.